What? Smell the egg. 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 There's a tour of the kitchen for anyone who's willing to go. It's well worth having a look at. And plus, there's a tour of the wine cellar, which is uh, also great. And they'll open some wine and give you a little taste. It's not long. Uh, it's 7.30, those who are interested. 7.30 in the, just in the first bar, if you congregate there, <coughs> and uh, they'll collect you and uh, do the tour, if, and then you'll be ready to eat at 8 o'clock, no problem. So, anybody interested in doing that, so I can give them some numbers, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, going up, up. hundred dollars, hundred dollars, fifteen, 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 about twelve, huh? Was that a kitchen? Okay. Wine. And, wine? and food, yeah, kitchen. Kitchen and wine. <clears throat> okay. Joy? Paul, for the tour. Thanks. Ah, uh, we're going to. Uh, okay, I got this hat. No, if you do it seven fifteen, that'll be fine. We're going to work on the overhead smash. So those who want, those of you who want to put some sunburn cream in the roof of their mouth, because you're going to be looking up for a couple of hours. Uh, Overhead is probably the easiest shot in tennis, but a lot of you are making it very difficult. <laughs> it's tough to hit a ball that's dropping out of the sky, and a few of you are making, uh, tossing the ball pretty high on your serve, so that is also hitting a dropping ball, which you've got to have good timing on. Now, when the ball's coming out of the sky and dropping, it's heavy, and plus, it's tough to judge. Uh, the, the main thing is moving and getting in the right position very early. Uh, don't run backwards. Jonathan had an experience of that on the first day. Jonathan, where are you? Over here. How's your back? It's better now, thank you. Good. <laughs> don't go backwards. Get sideways to the net and try and skip back sideways. And always get back a lot further than you think is necessary. Because then you can alter and come back underneath it and still remain side on if you can. So you're trading a bit of body weight. So you're not coming in and hitting just with arm. You'll get caught sometimes, but whenever you have the time, make sure you... Uh, it well back and particularly the high ones let them bounce and again get well back from it and then as you come back underneath it do this step which helps to keep you sideways to the net you'll step with the front foot bring that one to there and then the next one it's like a crab you all know how crabs walk so you get well back and then you crab back underneath it right at the last moment and that keeps you balanced. Better than coming back in like this and opening up, bringing the right leg around. So again, if you can keep good balance with this back leg, you'll be able to smash over here, there, and also there. When I played somebody, and I'd never seen them play much, as soon as they came around with the foot on the overhead, I knew pretty much where they were going to hit every smash because they couldn't hit a ball to the back end very well unless they really exaggerated this. So look for that and you'll see most people can just smash somewhere to the right or to the middle if they're falling off balance and opening up too much or with the shoulders. So the grip 
Same grip as you're using for your serve. Looseness of the hands. Coaches teach many different ways that may suit you. Uh, pointing to the ball with this hand to try and watch the ball a bit better. Uh, I tried that and I always mention it. I couldn't I'd hit my hand all the time. So I t did the way with that. Others teach dropping the racket straight in here, simplifying it and keeping it short. You need a strong shoulder to do that, but that's also acceptable if you don't miss and a good snap. And if you want a little bit more time to create racket head speed, uh, Tony Trabert, I, I copied his because it suited me the best. And he used to get side on, and it's important you keep the elbow up when you're rotating your shoulder. Because if you don't keep that up and drop the shoulder, you've got a long way to go from here to get up over the ball. And with this, with this continental grip, you can use your rest up here a little bit better and slice it with the flat eastern forehand grip. You can't snap your wrist. When you get to it, you can't go any more than that because your wrist, you can't snap with the, with the continental, you can do that. And do this and that and angle the ball. Don't be always trying to hit the ball too hard. <coughs> A lot of you, as soon as the overhead goes up, the veins in the neck are sticking out. <laughs> All you wanting to do is hit it as hard as hell and that really upsets you over here. I always mention Ken Rose wall because he had for a class first class he had a great great overhead, very weak serve, but a great overhead because he angled the ball up very well. And he had the ability to watch his opponent with one eye and the ball with the other. So as soon as you'd go to go one way, Ken would hit it at 15 miles an hour the other way. <laughs> and you're struggling to get back to it. Very annoying. <laughs> he beat you with control and angle, not pace. Now when you're holding the racket loose, and Tony Trabert's approach to it was keeping the racket up here well, close to the head, which helped. And why he held on to the throat of the racket a little longer when he turned his shoulders, that helped rotate the shoulder a bit. Because a lot of you are getting no rotation of the shoulder and just arming the ball. So a little rotation helps to get a bit of upper body into it as well. So from here to there, let go. So turn, that's very short. And that's ideal when you're hitting a ball in the air coming out. Because too big a swing, you're not going to make it. Now, uh, one minute, can we give a little applause to Jim? Uh, Jim, better late than never. Better never late. Jim, Jim had an important, important call to do this morning, and plus his overhead is impeccable. <laughs> okay, so when you're here, you're just turning, let go, drop the racket in, lean on the ball, keep your head and shoulders up. And you won't be missing any overheads. So ever do the footwork again. Don't lean back like that, Mike. Or are you just stretching? Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> you don't want to be leaning back like that because the elbow is so low here. Keep that elbow up and then you can get up to the ball a lot better on your serve and your overhead. Now the best overhead we got out of our group is Marco. Marco, are you ready? Yep. Kevin, I didn't mention you. He's going over here to watch.
<clears throat> Anytime Marco misses the ball is when he gets bored. <clears throat> Your tennis ball, son. You've now turned the cap around the right yeah. way. Maury's out, Djokovic is out. I'm about to start Federer. He's not. Federer, Chilich, Berdic. Yeah. Well, I'm down, huh? uh, yeah. No what happened to, um... What happened to, um, Djokovic? Injured. What? He actually quit the game. I don't know, so but what was it? Uh, elbow. Flat. Tapping the wrist nicely without coming around too soon. Yeah. It wasn't good. Slice over Very there. awkward. He's obviously going through a bad time. Mm -hmm. You hear what Macken has said. He's going the way of uh, Tiger Woods. Because <laughs> of the women, right? Yes. Yeah. He said that. <laughs> He's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. He's got a groove. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't look too happy. Now, when the ball's really high, let it drop. Marco's got a good overhead and he usually can hit most high balls. But you notice he's got difficulty on the real high one. How's that? Pretty good. Nice. Now, if any of you <coughs> ladies can do that, it's a kiss, kiss with me. <laughs> and then, Lucinda. <laughs> <laughs> when you get real good, you can do it with the hand. Not the cup. Reach at me. Alright, you got the right yeah. grip? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Watch the ball. Ah. Alright, that's no good. Watch it. Oh. Okay, one more on that high one. Keep your head up. Sometimes I pull my head down when I hear that sound. Those who want to get extra work will be doing this. Next to my chin. Okay, last one. Handle. Oh. Double lob on the line. Uh, ah. Is that in or out? In. In? On the line. No. This one will be on the line too. That's on the line too. Behind you. Oh, sure. But that's how you play a high defensive lock. If the roof allows it. You put more spin on.